really how it started was, you know, during COVID, um, a lot of uh, time to yourself. And um, I was just, you know, in a, in a weird time of my life. And it got, it got worse in 2021. Um, I was doing a lot of drugs. Uh, I had family issues, I had my own issues. It got so bad where it was just like, uh, I'd be up for, you know, two or three days and got in a dark hole and started doing a lot more drugs. And I just lost myself. I wasn't myself anymore. I wasn't hanging out with anybody anymore. I, um, if it wasn't for my brother to really like, hey, you need help, I wouldn't be here because I, I almost overdosed plenty of times. Really, I was determined. I don't know why I was determined to be an addict and use. I lost touch with reality. I was, I was pulling my hair out. I was basically living in the BART station and parking garages and, you know, there's, there's so much trauma. Even now, like stuff pops up that I forgot happened and it just, you know, I, I can't get it out of my head sometimes, you know, I had guns in my face and did things that I, I didn't want to do. You know, clearly I just wanted to feel love and like myself and feel better, but, um, I just was clinging to this idea of just like, you know, drugs and punk rock and didn't, didn't think about tomorrow. The most inspiring part of my job, honestly, is this is my uh, opportunity to give back to society because I myself struggled with drug addiction at one time. And that sometimes is the best experience to equip you with helping somebody else who's in the same situation. So. I really, really enjoy helping these clients in any capacity that I can overcome whatever issues they're having with drug abuse. The moment how I got to health right is my brother saw me and he was really concerned. And he was like, man, you need to get help. So the next day he um, picked me up and dropped me off at health right. Did the whole intake. I was there for like two, three days and I was like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave, this is not for me. And James actually, the, you know, he was working there, uh, director at the time. He stopped me and he's like, man, listen, like this is gonna help you out so much. Um, you need this, uh, uh, you need this discipline. And honestly, he changed my life because if, if I didn't stay, I probably wouldn't be alive here to speak with you guys. So within the Healthway 360 um, residential program, um, one of our goals is that we, you know, we're very um, client-centered, client-focused, and that means that we meet them where they at. Um, we also have that harm reduction approach, and we have we understand that it's going to take a while to help change those behaviors. So we kind of meet them where they at um, as far as their treatment and their needs, and we try to build a treatment plan or problem list according to those needs and have interventions that make can help them be successful in in those areas. So when I got to Walden House through Healthright 360, they gave me a bed. They had a good program with uh, with meetings and stuff every day and uh, they had AA meetings that would come and they, uh, they give you these goals and you have like a weekly worksheet that you have to do and they just they let you they let you grow into who you are. I was homeless and I had my own room for like a month and that was awesome. You know, I actually felt like I was like regaining the sense of self and pride and privacy, and, you know, after living my life outside for so long. Many people in society have some type of drug abuse issue that needs to be dealt with. And I think that's where Health Life 360 comes in because we're willing to embrace and accept any person within the community, wherever they're at, whether they're homeless, whether they're rich, whether they're a blue collar worker, it doesn't matter. Alpha 360 will uh, take these clients and give them that opportunity through the resources that we offer to overcome their addiction. They have an opportunity to be independent. They will be assigned a recovery coach who will be their go-to staff so they can find affordable housing while they're here, so they can find and maintain stable employment develop a savings account, all the things that are necessary in life for someone who is coming out of addiction and now needs to get his life together. We live in a beautiful city with a lot of resources that really help people. Like San Francisco, they, they have, they, they, they want to help, you know. Health right wants to help, like they, they, it changes lives and it does. 
So that's what I do. If you do want it, you're gonna see amazing results. I've said a lot of, and, and did a lot of things I regret. That, and it, just, it, it wasn't me, you know. The drugs, they, they really take over uh, your thoughts and what you do. Um, but once you do sober up, it's an amazing feeling I can't describe, you know. And I'm just, I, I'm thankful for everybody that helped me out. Uh, Health Right, uh, James, Steve, Neosha, the therapist, and, you know, and Health Right just a great, amazing company. And they just helped me out more ways than one, you know, so I'm going to keep getting the help they provide and I uh, really appreciate what they've done in my life and many others. Healthright 360 allowed me to build my life back just piece by piece. It's really important to have a place that you can go and be respected and be treated like a person. You know, I'm just so grateful Healthright was there when I was ready. It took me a long time to actually feel like I was done, you know, digging. And uh, once I was ready, you know, they were there. And I'm just so grateful for that. It's okay to say you need help. Um, I know a lot of times we, we may not want to say that we need help because we feel that we so independent and we can do it on our own. But no one in this life can do anything at all. We all need help along our way in our journey. And Healthway 360, we are here to help. So the day that you decide that you want that change, we're gonna be here and we're gonna do our best to assist you in that change. And I just would really like everyone to know that this organization is willing to do what it takes to evolve to the needs of our clients.